All right, now let's check out the Nano itself. Um, I've seen a couple of uh, reviews of this thing, but, um, you know, check it out, see what's going on. Uh, first off, again, it's very thin. There's the hold button, as is on most Nanos. Um, not much to say about the design. You've seen it before. It's wider screen, or longer screen and wider uh, from the second generation. I think it's the same as the third generation only turned. Uh, let's take a look at what's going on here. Okay, you have clearly a better user interface. Um, as you know, the click wheel, I won't rehash a bunch of crap that you already know about it. Uh, it has, um, let's see, if we go all the way up, I guess that's all the way up. We can look at all albums. It does do cover art, which is nice, and it does it rather seamlessly. Um, I don't want you to see too much of what I have because some of it's pretty fucking lame to a lot of people. Let's see, uh, such as that. So, if we turn sideways, we can scroll through pretty much everything we've got. Uh, great, works for me. Clearly a much better interface than um, the uh, uh, the faux iPod, whatever you want to call it, MP4 player. Um, turn it back, it goes back to the same one. If you want to select the uh, a new album, you have to go, actually go into it, click, and select. I have a lot of albums with only one song. I tend to um, do that. Let's see if I have any uh, any here with multiple songs. So it'll then list them. It depends on your uh, ID tags on the file. You can list them in order. You can do a lot of stuff with it, but pretty standard things. Um, so if you click here, it'll start playing. You flip it back. Boom. There's your cover art. Now it does podcasts as well. Um, it does videos uh, not too well. It does play MP4s unlike that which plays a specific type. I forget what it's called. I forget the three-letter designation. Uh, I don't have any videos on here now. I do have some podcasts, and it does, um, you know, it, it, it has games. Again, you're probably not that interested in them. They're uh, only cool insofar as um, they actually utilize this uh, so-called accelerometer. Um, if you play these things, uh, this is a game, oh fuck, this is the hard one. Anyway, you actually can tilt it around and it's like a marble on a little maze. You have to get it to various points and stuff like that. Fine, whatever. Great. Um, but you can just see the ease of use of this. And I don't understand, again, uh, I, okay, I get the click wheel, but even if you were paging through all these things with these, this and that, uh, and the, the little ticking you hear, let me do this right there is actually a speaker inside. It's very cute. It, the, the buttons almost don't click at all, unlike that one. But I don't see why you can't just come up with something simple and nice. And it's a very um, maybe Scandinavian or German design. It's very modern. Uh, it's very cool. And again, that is, that's actually why I bought this. It was for the user interface, the ease of use, the fact that I could sit there in the car and fuck with it and get it to work and get to my music or videos or whatever uh, without being frustrated and without going, oh my God, what a cheesy hunk of shit. And um, so again, let's, um, this hopefully is charged by now. Um, let's, let's turn it off. And here's another problem. If you turn the thing off, for some reason, when you turn it on, all the data is lost. Not, not on the flash card, but um, you, it has you set the time here in one of the settings. And look at that. What, what is that? I mean, you know, it's like it's designed for a freaking 12-year-old. And maybe it is. Maybe it is. But, you know, this isn't far off. These are designed mostly for young people. And it's still just way cooler. And so this has got some corny, probably clip art that it uses. Um, and I don't mean to bash the thing, well I guess I do, but it, it, it really frustrates me that they have this thing, as I said, that they've gone to the trouble of creating this knockoff, 
and then they just make it so fucking lame. It would be so cool if it were a $30 item, fine, you'd probably get them cheaper, that um, was just simple and useful. Uh, so let's go here to the music uh, one more time. And, um, and yeah, play, good. Uh, if you um, shuffle the songs, which you can, uh, and you try to go back to the previous song, it will shuffle them going backwards as well. Kind of funky. Uh, and so, again, uh, this is another problem I have with it. Um, the the um, tags, uh, the ID, I think they're ID3 tags, are displayed wrong. They're, they're, uh, they're run together. The, these um, numbers here, the time and the kilobits per second, I think it is, um, are they're run together it, you know it's just like how hard is it is it to put a space in between there or get some graphic designer on here to make this look a little better and so I, I hate to say that I I spent an extra 150 bucks on that thing just because it looks better but it's not just about looks it's about functionality and when you're frustrated when you can't see things and when buttons don't do what you expect them to do it, it it's just it's a, it's a, a soul draining experience when you try to use the damn thing. So each time I was using this, I was like, dude, what do these people think I'm retarded? Do they think I, I'm so lame that I I'm going to be fooled that this is real, or that other people when they see this going are going to think it's real? I want to see the information. I don't even need to see cover art on here. I don't care about that so much. Just to, you know, show the title of the song a little better than scrolling down here running into the uh, artist. You know, maybe show other things about it that's stored in the tag, the album, shit like that. Fine, I'd go with that. Um, so, you know, that's that's my rant on that thing. This is cool. As long as you get a, a you know, a, 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 the appropriately made one. I've seen other forums where people say, yeah, my, my wheel is crunchy too. So if you get one of those, take it back immediately. And hopefully you got it from a place that's not the Apple Store because I hear that they... You know, it'll jerk you around. You have to speak with special people. Just return the damn thing. Who who wants that? So, um, uh, you know, this has ex extra things. Calendars, whatever. Does anybody really use a calendar on their iPod? Because, again, you have to sync it with iTunes. And um, I don't have uh, SP2 on my um, Windows XP. And I'm not going to put it on there because my thing, my damn computer's so old, it's going to slow it down. So... I can't even use iTunes. I have to go through Winamp to do all my stuff. And it works, but it's very cumbersome. So I guess the stopwatch, if you're working out, um, would be handy. So that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, give me a call. Uh, email, that is. And that's it. Talk to you later. Oh, there's one more thing I wanted to uh, go into before we go, and that is the headphones that came with the things. And now these seem very um, alike. In fact, they are very alike, superficially at least. The sound quality of the Chinese ones here, they're probably both Chinese, but the, the non-Apple branded ones are uh, not as high. They're lower. And one of the things that really pissed me off, and it's just another uh, attention to detail that just is lacking, is this says it's, it has a little L on it. This has a little R on it. And guess what? They're actually switched. Uh, the R goes, it, it at the, the left side actually goes to that side and vice versa. And so they couldn't even get that right. They couldn't even get that right. And that pisses me off. That's why I bought this, because, you know, I just want to use it. I want it to be high quality. I want it to make me feel good about me, feel good about who designed it, and not like they're just some dumbass fucks sitting and putting this together and then throwing it into a you know a bat and not even caring so that's why I got it that's and that's probably why you're gonna get uh, well whatever it is you get if, if you can overlook that stuff and say hey you know what I got 120 bucks I can do shit with um, and you don't fine um, I understand but for me that 150 is uh, well spent just for the, the fact that uh, this kills me to use it makes me feel like a retard uh, this makes me feel good. And that's it. Later.